what's up guys welcome back to the channel in this brand new video i'm going to show you how to upgrade ram and ssd on razer blade 15 2023 so for this we need to open the bottom case and i will be using my precision screwdriver set which you can buy off the amazon for 25 to 30 bucks which is which is fair and affordable and this is more than enough for any tech repairs for most of the windows laptops so for this we need to make sure the laptop is fully shut down as you can see the laptop is turned on we're gonna shut it down So for the bottom case you need to have the T5 screwdriver bit so it comes with this precision screwdriver set which uh, you can see all the numbers here and now we need to unscrew these screws like six of them start from the back make sure you not lose them for front you need to unscrew them from an angle So I have unscrewed all the screws. Now I'm using this plastic object to unscrew, uh, unopen, open the hinges. You just made like, uh, you just need to make a gap on the edge. Then you go all the way, both sides and the front, and try to do not go too deep and never use any metal objects. You're gonna damage the board. So now you need to squeeze it from the back. Remember, you need to squeeze this from the back because this has the small little hinges here uh, if you forced you're gonna break it now we have removed the bottom case so first thing for all the repairs again you need to unplug the batteries from the board because you want to make sure there's no power so I have unplugged the board as you can see we have uh, the second uh, M.2 slots here, I have plenty of storage. This is this here. You can unscrew the screw and put the storage in and then screw it back. So I'm not uh, intending to upgrade the storage on this. And I do have some RAM here. So this is lower the, uh, than what it has uh, what the laptop has right now so you need to release these locks to open the RAM and put the new RAM in so that's how you upgrade the RAM and SSDs on the Razer Blade 2023 the 15 inch model so you see this goes here the battery is here this is the connector for the battery and this is the Wi-Fi module these are two fans which are connected here and underneath these four screws there this is uh, the heat sinks and GPU resides here so if you want to apply the thermal paste or if you are uh, facing some heating issues so maybe your thermal paste is dried out so you can do unscrew this here and then you can reapply the thermal paste and uh, reassemble the laptop so 
that's how you upgrade the RAM and SSDs and apply the thermal paste on these exact models. So these are the fans. Sometimes it get dirty. Uh, you need to clean it. It's collecting the dust and the laptop is uh, performing poorly. So always check for the fans. Clean uh, any dirt and especially if these parts here, the space between the front and the fan, they collect a lot of dust and the uh, Laptop is now uh, no more, uh, no longer able to suck those heat and cool the uh, uh, GPU and CPU. So you do need to look for that. So as you can see, the board is pretty much high build quality. Uh, I see this board exactly same as uh, MacBook uh, high end models because. I've been a technician with Apple. I worked for them two years. I work on any single model of the Apple products and they do have really high end motherboards. But these motherboards and the Razer Blade are way more better than other models. Like like compared to Dell or MSI or HP or Lenovo, these motherboards has better components, better capacitors, uh, better uh, IC modules. Yes, these are premium belts I would recommend buying this laptop yeah so this is how you upgrade the RAM and memory module on this specific model so most of the Razer laptop has a similar uh, component layout in, on the board so if you watch this video it is gonna work for 99% person of the other models so now it's time to reconnect the battery we are assuming that we put the SSD and the RAM uh, which is a really straightforward process you don't need any extra knowledge to do that unscrew the screw put the storage in and screw it back in and remove the modules from here module 1 module 2 so you put your 32 gigs modules because this i7 can support the 64 gigabyte maximum so if you buy 32 32 it's 64 two modules remember you you cannot put more than two modules and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys learn something new and i hope you guys enjoy the video if now it's time to put back the bottom case so remember we have those little notches uh the clips here so you need to be precise with it make sure they are in place so let's push it back and check if if you don't see any gap here as I don't see it now it's time to put it back and try to book, uh, put back the screws in don't go too hard on the screws because you're gonna strip the screws and you will not be able to reopen it again so as long as it feels uh, tight just leave it alone and make sure you have the clicks and it's nice and place and for the front screws you need to go from the angle remember go nice and slow like this I feel it tight I leave it alone and now the second one and I put my finger I feel it's in place and the third one yep and the last one Remember these uh, the front screws are Tatting in from the angle you cannot if you go straight uh, You will screw it in like wrong uh, direction and it not it's not gonna go all the way in So now it's the moment of truth Let's check if our laptop still powers on or no I'm gonna press the power button and Wait for the boot. Yep It's powering on another successful repair and upgrade for the 
the uh, for the razor blade 15 2023 model yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe and leave a comment for any other tech repairs if you guys need it and if you guys want me to repair a specific model please leave a comment or pm me on my social media thanks for watching and i hope you guys have something new yeah see you in the next video